Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Armour, the businessman, Newham legend, already a legend. Are you listening? Straight out of Newham, been doing this music thing seriously, professionally since I came out of jail in 2020. So that's three years now. Get me going strong, making it happen. If we're banged up for the morning, so just know we ain't riding no voluntary. New plugs for the M and they call him more, bro. Said he ain't liking the quality. If I get trapped where he's all involved, then you know that's my type of economy. If you didn't respect my gangster, then I can't lie with a man and apology. And if I ever go bankrupt, plug pros work because I'm flying it properly. If it's shifting slow, I still pick up phones and the plugs admiring my honesty. Now I sit through social prison clothes, gods ain't authorizing my property, but I'm still here all nerdy. How often do you release music and do you have the schedule that you follow? Yeah, yeah. No, basically, um, I try, like, my aim is to, I can't lie, I've changed my strategy a few times, like, throughout my journey, like, just kind of based on a few different things, like, how I think the industry is working, how I think, like, the ways to promote music is changing, and also, like, just life, funds, like, resources, getting help from people, like, sometimes these things are a factor that change the schedule and change the strategy, do you get what I'm saying? But um, like a general strategy, like a general rough, like I like to have my releases roughly like six weeks apart. Okay, cool. What would you say your most popular releases and what would you say was the contributing factor to the success of it? You know what, yeah? It's hard to say because there's so much different criteria like, um, on how you judge how successful your release is, do you get what I'm saying? Like, so I've got some songs, for example, like they didn't stream very well, but I've had a lot of like people come and tell me, no, that's my favorite song. And it's like, it doesn't match the numbers, but it meant a lot to that person, for example. And then I've got other songs that have like streamed very well and that like, they've been put on loads of playlists and stuff like that. But, um, like, for example, like, it will do well over there, but on YouTube, it's not as strong. Do you get what I'm saying? Or like, you get what I'm saying, bro? So it's hard to, it's hard to judge. Like, the way I look at it is that all these releases are part of, like, one portfolio. Do you get what I'm saying? All under what I do. Do you get what I'm saying? So each thing is just a, another step. So one thing might be successful for, for one thing. Like, for example, um, when I do, when I touch on different subjects and talk talk about different like parts of my personality and life, it might bring in different audiences. So that's like a, a separate win. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like it's, it's however you want to measure it, really. Okay, I think that was, that was a nice answer. That's a good answer for people to kind of reflect on. Yeah. Uh, grime or rap? Um, like obviously, man's got like a real sense of love for for grime because obviously man's from Newham, East London, where the stuff all originated from. So man's always like had a connection to it. Do you get what I'm saying? But um, in terms of just like listening to music and like the kind of like influences man's had, I can't, yeah, probably like both really. I can't really choose really. If you were to choose one for yourself, you can't pick. Yeah, sorry man, I can't answer the question, bro. It changes though, it changes all the time. I respect both in it. Um, how much would an independent artist generally have to budget for a whole release? Not necessarily yourself, but how much would someone expect to be spending for a whole release start to end? Obviously, like, it's all down to the individual and their circumstances, yeah? But one thing that I always feel, yeah, is that if you don't have money, you can make up for it with work and effort. Do you get what I'm saying? So, like... With money, you can do things, innit? You can like upgrade the quality of your music. You can upgrade the quality of your visuals and you can pay to promote, do you get what I'm saying? But if you, if you don't really have the funds, then you have to be a bit more creative with your ideas and put in that extra amount of work to make yourself be recognized. Like someone might spend a thousand pounds on Google ads, for example, and that's gonna push their music to whatever number of people, yeah, for example, yeah. But if someone has an engaging piece of content that they made for free, it can still reach that same number of people with no money. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like, if you don't have the funds and you have to make up for it with other resources, you have to use your talent, you have to use your ideas, you have to use your efforts, so you have to use your time. Do you get what I'm saying? 
I think that perfectly led it on to the next question, which was kind of to talk a bit about your campaigns because they're very creative, they're yeah. fresh. It's not you kind of touched on it a bit there. Do you have a lot of input in your rollouts yourself? You know what, bro? Like, man's a bit of a sponge, and I take influence and ideas and inspiration from everywhere, bro. And like, luckily, like, man's grown up in a time where, like. You know what, you know what, bro, man, just respect creativity and respect creatives, do you get what I'm saying? So I feel like just naturally, like, I'm into that stuff, do you get what I'm saying? Yes. Um, sorry, what was the question again? So do you take, do you have a lot of input on, yeah. on your releases? So yeah, like so, artwork yeah, 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 no, I definitely take a lot. I, I ask for opinions from people whose opinions I respect. I also listen to opinions from people whose opinion that I might not respect as much, but it still might be valuable. Do you get what I'm saying? And yeah, basically, yeah, I do listen. And but ultimately, the the final say is me, and it? it's whatever sits right with me, whatever I like. Like someone might give me an idea if I don't like it, I won't. Do you get what I'm saying, my bro? So yeah, like yeah, simple. In terms of. Uh your team, do you have a team that you work with in terms of producers, videographers, studios? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like over time, like the teams changed like due to like people's circumstances and you know, just life in it, do you get what I'm saying? But yeah, I think it's mad important to have a team. I don't feel like you can have much success in this thing without support from people. Do you get what I'm saying? Like you can, try to do everything yourself without a team but it's like you only have limited time and resources and if you if you're utilizing like the resources and time of people of people that's willing to help you either for free or whether you're trying to pay for it either way it's like you just have more of a chance of your thing improving because you're using multiple efforts not just your own do you get what i'm saying yeah that makes sense so in terms of like the people that you have around you and like the videographers or studios or on each one do you have like the set you use for example the same videographer or the state same studio you can say who you use or that or yeah yeah do you go through different try different things yeah yeah um i do like to build relationships with the people i'm working with and i do like it to be a thing where like the more they build with me like where we're building from each other, do you get what I'm saying? So they get opportunities based off of their work with me. And like, yeah, like, yeah, if I get opportunities off of, 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 of a person that I'm working with, then that's great. But yeah, for me, the relationship is important because I feel like where we're doing so much creative work, like you have to have chemistry with the people you're working with just so you guys are like have this have a similar vision do you get what i'm saying so you have a similar vision and you're able to execute ideas that you're both happy with do you get what i'm saying because over time i feel like if you guys don't have the same vision or you don't have chemistry it just it ends up not working out do you get what i'm saying but yeah no i definitely do have a lot of people that i circle back to i got and separately like when i say the team it's like i might have like a set producers that I work with, might have set videographers that I work with, artwork guys, guys that mix and master, like radio plugger, it, like do you get what I'm saying? Like there's various out there, innit? And the better and the more you build relationships with all of them, is you've got a better chance of having a good product and a successful and appealing product. Do you get what I'm saying? That's a, that's a good piece of advice. Um, for an independent artist, do you think that they can produce a stable income quickly from music? Someone who's just sort of coming into the game two, three years in. The way I look at it is that like it's a business, isn't it? Like if well, it's a business if you want it to be a business. Do you get what I'm saying? Like because you know what, when I speak to artists. Um, that want to get into music and be successful in music, my first conversation usually with them is, why are you doing it? Like, do you get what I'm saying? Are you doing it for the passion of it? Do you want, like, the clout from it? Do you want the money? Do you want the respect? Do you get what I'm saying? And it's like, whatever reason you're doing it for should kind of decide how you you attack it. Do you get what I'm saying? It's like, uh, what, sorry, what was the question again, my bro? So, um, does it... An independent artist. Oh yeah, can they get it quickly? Income? Yeah, so basically I would say like, statistically, businesses in the UK 
the majority of them don't see profit for the first two years. So if you see your thing as a business, um, based on those statistics, it's like it's pretty unlikely to get a stable income quickly. Do you get me? I'm not saying it's impossible. It happens, but it's like they're more anomalies rather than like, you get me? Like it's not a, it's unlikely for you to get a stable income quickly, independently, unless something out of the ordinary happens. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that's a, that's, that's a fair line. Yeah, viewer. but yeah, sorry to add to that, yeah, it's like a lot of people, especially like um, from the pandemic, for example, yeah, a lot of people started like home businesses and things like that. They tried to turn their hobbies and passions into a business, do you get what I'm saying? Um, but it's like, you for you to make it past that two year statistic and make it into success, you have to have a real passion and want to make it happen. Do you get what I'm saying? If your passion and want doesn't stretch far enough to take on all the other things that come with a business, do you get what I'm saying? Um, then yeah, it's long, it ain't, yeah. Ultimately, like chasing the money yeah. is not enough. But you've got to have the passion for it, pretty much. Um, would you say? I would say to see it to the set, because basically, Trying to be an entertainer is like one of the hardest things in the world to to succeed at. Do you get what I'm saying? If it's for money, I would say there's plenty of other ways to make money. Making music is probably not the best one. Do you get what I'm saying? Unless you have that passion. Do you get what I'm saying? Otherwise, yeah, you might not make it to that side. That makes sense. A lot of people don't. They quit before they make it to that side, don't it? Do you get what I'm saying? Yo, yo, you've been listening to Armour giving out some advice to all the independent artists out there. Yeah. If you don't know who I am, go check out my thing. Bye. Respect the studio.